following movie, we'll look at how we can extract spring force results from multiple springs across multiple subcases into an Excel spreadsheet. So here you can see we have four springs and a solution with two subcases. And we have requested output requests for our spring dash pot resultants for our CBUSH elements. And you can see we have force in the X, Y, and Z. And if we want to put all of that into a spreadsheet, uh, what we can do is use results extraction. We'll step out of post so that we can select the springs that we'd like to write out to our spreadsheet. And there's various options for how we can select those springs, including an element selection from a list. Next, we'll select the result, spring dash pot results, and we'll start with X. And you can see we're adding all subcases, both subcases for X, Y, and Z. So we have six results that we're going to be writing out. Next, uh, you can see we're exporting it to a CSV file. And the format is going to have the nodes and elements in rows, and then the load cases, iterations in columns, and result types in columns. And then we can specify the name of the CSV file. And say OK. And we'll open up that CSV file. And here you can see our results for our four springs in the X, Y, and Z across the two subcases. So here, if we make it a little bit wider, it's a little, little bit too wide. I want to be able to see all of the, the results here. So for element uh, 4956, here you can see uh, X, Y, and Z for subcase 1, and then X, Y, and Z for subcase 2. And that concludes the demonstration.